guys, my name is Rachel Nice, otherwise known as the Beauty Professor. Welcome back to my channel. Greetings today from a different place than normal. I'm not in my office, I'm actually in a house that we as a family rent every year in the desert. I head back to campus next week entering into a seven college class schedule that I'll be teaching. So this is kind of like our last break collectively or our family of educators before we all go back to the classroom and we've just been enjoying time together and at this gorgeous house. So today I am really excited to be covering something that you guys voted on. I put up a poll on Instagram about what you guys wanted my next video to be and the category that won was concealer and bronzer. So today I'm going to talk about my most used concealers and bronzers. I have a very tight edit. I took some really careful thought, especially when I was packing all this, knowing I was gonna be out of town to film it. And I cannot wait to show you the formulas that I reach for most often. So when it comes to concealers, I have a very specific set of qualifications that I look for. I want to make sure that the concealer that I'm using is strong coverage wise otherwise why use concealer i want to make sure that it brightens that it's smoothing on the face that it doesn't settle into fine lines or pores and that ideally it lasts the entire day also i'm considering things like color matching are there appropriate undertones and is there a strong color range for all skin types and skin tones so that it can be as inclusive as possible? So here are some of the concealers I use most often. The first is the Clé de Peau, the concealer. And my best match is Buff. I wear Buff year round. Now it looks very light on the top of my hand because despite wearing SPF 50 all week, I'm getting more color. It's really sunny out here in the desert. But buff is my best match and certainly I'm not wearing it on the top of my hand as a normal thing. I'm wearing it in my under eye region which is where I have this today. The beautiful thing about the Clay de Peau the concealer is that a little goes a very long way. I have worked on this same tube for almost two years and look how much is still left. I only need a swipe and then I buff it in with a little brush or with my fingertips and either one works well. It's creamy, it's emollient, but it doesn't slide around. It's just a makeup bag staple for me. It's always in my bag. Buff is my best match, but I will make sure to link to swatches of every concealer shade in this range because I have them on Beauty Professor. Next is a foundation base concealer hybrid. This is the Monica Blunder Beauty Blunder Cover and it comes in this weighty glass jar. This is shade 4.5, which is a good match for basically my whole face for most of the year. It's kind of a warm, olivey tone, but this formula is it's creamy, it's fragrance-free. It can be applied sheerly if you want just a light wash of color. You can build it up to medium or full opacity as a foundation, but since we're talking about concealers, I treat it as a concealer. I pop it on with fingertips and I put it right in this orbital region. You can also use it to spot cover, to even things out if you're working in the center of your face and moving outward. It is just a super versatile product and the shade range on this one has been expanded recently. I have swatches of every shade in the lineup. I will link to it on Beauty Professor, but if you're looking for one of those products that does it all, truly Blender Cover is a very strong, formidable option. For under eyes only, and I want to stress that, whereas the first two concealers I have shared with you are, are ones that I can use all over my face, I really only use this one, the Sisley Under Eye Concealer in shade two in my under eye region. Now you can see even with the packaging, it is designed for this under eye orbital region. It's got a cool tip applicator that just kind of reduces puffiness while expertly and precisely distributing product. This concealer on my skin, number two, is very, very fair, very pale, but it has this gorgeous apricot peachy undertone that works even at my tannest. I can pop a little under here. It's also infused with skincare benefits. So you pop it in, it's nourishing your skin, it's instantly brightening, and it's lightweight and silky enough to not sink into fine lines. It's one of those concealers that like you didn't know you needed, but once you try it, you wonder how you ever lived without it. It's an under eye holy grail. 
Next is the Lawless Conceal the Deal, and my best match is Olive. I like this formulation because it is so pigmented, the ingredients are clean, and it's one of those formulations that you can use all over the face. So of course it can brighten up the under eye region, but if you get a color that also matches the rest of your skin, and all of it for me for a lot of the year, then you can use it to touch up the face. It's filled with skincare benefits and ingredients, and it's so smoothing and blurring on the skin. Just lovely. Once it sets, it really doesn't move. And so this is another makeup bag favorite. I find that if I want to skip foundation entirely, I can just go strategically in with a little clay de peau and a little lawless and kind of build out a full face, really even complexion that still looks like natural, fresh, radiant skin. Finally, I'm showing you the iconic London concealer. This is in the shade beige. This is a very good winter shade for me. It's a little light for end of summer for me, but I do use it a lot in the winter and then spring months. It's got a beautiful doe foot applicator for precise application. And this is one of those concealers that's highly pigmented as well. You can use it to brighten the under eye region, but you can also use it to go in and kind of conceal a blemish or a dark spot if you have one, because it's a little bit thicker, less liquid than some of the other formulations I've shown you today. And for that reason, I find it to be really versatile and lovely. It is a workhorse, if you will, in the very best possible sense of the term. And if you haven't tried this iconic concealer, I suggest you give it a go. It's a beautiful full coverage option that stays in place. Before I move into my next topic, which is bronzers, I just want to talk to you guys about what I have on my eyes today. I am wearing a new eyeshadow formulation from Le Metier de Beauté. This is a gorgeous, creamy pencil. I'm wearing it in two shades that I'll, I'll swatch everything on my hand momentarily. But this creamy pencil, it's so versatile. You pop it on the eyes and then I just use fingertips to blend it out. You can have a sheer wash of color. You can build it up to full opacity. Once it sets, it does not move. It's waterproof, it's impervious to migration or creasing or pooling, and it's so pretty on the eyes. You can get a really fresh, light, smoky effect or build it up for additional drama. Let me show you guys swatches of all four of these. They just became available, so I'm excited to share them with you. Okay, so these are single pass swatches. I'm wearing the first two shades mixed on my eyes here, but these single pass swatches are so pigmented, so intense. I absolutely love this formulation. It's velvety and creamy and unlike anything I've tried before. I also want to show you there is a smudgy tip on the other side so you can get in there and just smudge everything out to oblivion. So lovely. Great for them. This is the first product of its kind from Le Metier de Beauté. So I will, of course, link to it below along with my code if you're interested in trying it out. So here we have Champagne, Tamarind, Fatal, and Onyx. And I'm wearing, like I said, a mixture of Champagne and Tamarind on my eyes right now. You're going to flip for these pencils when you try them. They are just the most gorgeous, effortless eyeshadow sticks I've seen in a long time. Also, Le Metier came out with a super deluxe, beautiful dual eye shadow pencil sharpener. So you've got one for the large pencil, and then you also have a space for a smaller, more traditional pencil. I am always on the hunt for a sharpener that really does the job, and this one does. I'm so in love with it. All right, on to bronzer. The first bronzer that I have, bronzer that I have been using a ton of all summer long is this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. My shade is medium here. I use this short brush with it, and you can see I've made a really strong dent in this cream formula. I wasn't sure if I was going to love this one strictly because it's in this big compact and cream bronzer is kind of hit or miss for me because it's often kind of work to work with. This one is so, so easy. It's velvety, it's buildable, and it's so fresh. I just go in with my brush here and then I just sweep it through the hollows of my cheeks, across the perimeters of my face, down my nose, and then across here like this. This is typically the move I do with all bronzers, whether it's powder or cream. Even with this pretty wide brush, I can still get a nice kind of chisel and contour going with this formulation. It's a great true brown tan. It does not pull orange and it stays in place all day long. I am very pleased with this cream bronzer. 
highly recommend. Next is the Gucci bronzer in shade three. I've talked about this in a lot of videos before. I have got a pretty good dent going in this one as well. It's a soft powder bronzer that looks so natural on the skin. It's not matte, it's not radiant, it's just somewhere in the middle with a very soft focus finish. This powder is the one that I keep in my purse all the time because it's easy for touch-ups though I feel like a little goes a long way. It's pretty pigmented and shade 3 is a good match for me year-round. I wasn't sure about this bronzer when it first launched. I was intrigued by the packaging but I didn't jump on it right away. I'd read a lot of good reviews but I was a little skeptical and I will say that it is every bit as good as people say it is a fresh, beautiful, effortless on the skin kind of bronzer. Next is the Saint bronzer in Sunkissed. This really says it all, right? I use it a ton. I've talked about it so much. I've run through a couple compacts of this. This is a, a matte bronzer that just looks so, once again, fresh and easy on the skin. It's easy to contour and to sculpt and to just warm up the face all in one product. Super clean ingredients, no fragrance, looks beautiful on skin of all types and all ages. It's a hero product from Saint for me and I sing its praises constantly. When you're looking for a true contour situation, the Iconic Contour Pot is it. Love this brush and contour pot. It's got two layers of contour, a cream and a powder. So you have two options here about how you want to go. And you can use this side to sculpt the nose. I, I will link to a reel where I actually did this. I love that you can contour so easily with this brush, it's genius. And then on this side, the fluffy brush works really well to use the powder to add shadow. You can also add a little more depth and get right in there with the cream. Super versatile and very compact, makeup bag friendly. This duo is brilliant. For a gel bronzer, I really enjoy the Chantecai gel bronzer. This is very lightweight. It's sheer, almost like a watercolor, and you can build it up. I typically use a sponge or a brush to apply. You can get away with using your fingers, but if you're looking for the lightest wash of warmth, this one is beautiful, and it's very easy to work with, even though it's liquid, which I do think oftentimes liquids or gels can be daunting. This one's really forgiving and just easy to kind of move through the areas I've already discussed when it comes to bronzer. Another bronzing option is the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur Face. You can use this as a bronzer or as an all over face color, like a wash of bronze all over the face. It's truly blurring, it's illuminating, it's got a warmth. This is the medium and it looks very light on me right now, but I do typically use the medium and then the next shade up and I mix them together. You can use it to strategically contour or you can, like I said, put it all over your face for a warm wash of color. It's very, very flattering on the skin and just makes everything look super filtered. Finally, let me show you the Westman Atelier Lipstick in the shade Brulee. It looks like this. It's probably the softest bronzing option of the bronzers I've shown you because it's very luminous and lightweight. You can wear it like a, a warm highlighter or you could wear it as a really soft kind of luminous touch of tan on the face. It's got a lot of potential for many different outcomes, but it's really blendable into the skin. It's got a, a second skin finish and just definitely makes the skin look lit from within, but Brulee is that beautiful warm color that also just enriches the complexion. I often get asked what kind of brush I use when I'm applying bronzer and for the most part I use my Syrah Artistic Cheek Brush. I hope it's available at the time I'm discussing it right now. It has been available and then it hasn't and then it's back again but I will link to it of course if it's there. I have a few of these floating around in my arsenal. This one, you know, the way that I would go in with it is just to get some on my brush and like I said I go into hollows of the cheeks, perimeters of the face, down the chin, down the nose here, a little bit up here, and then just blend it through. Bronzer is also great in the crease of your eye. If you want to skip eye shadow, you can just go in with some bronzer for a monochromatic look. So it's one of those versatile products and versatile brushes that you will find yourself reaching for time and again. I, I hope you found this bronzer and concealer discussion useful and interesting. I hope I put some 
fresh formulas on your radar. I welcome your questions and your comments. I have so much more beauty content in the works for you guys. But in the meanwhile, thank you for being here to watch this one. I'm wishing you a strong start to your fall. And like I said, newness on the horizon in the meanwhile. Don't forget to visit me at Beauty Professor, which can be found at beautyprofessor.com. Take care.